Happy holidays! I'm Linda Ann from Studio ABC and I had the wonderful privilege of leading a group of artists to make a video hop for you from Color Art at colorart.com. I'll be doing a grayscale underpainting and then using Silk's acrylic glazes from colorart.com to complete the painting. This is a 12 by 12 inch canvas and the drawing that I've been doing of a deer is going to fit very nicely on this canvas. I started to tone in some of the values of color on this but decided that could wait until I got to the painting part because that's exactly what I'm going to do today is do a, a painting, an underpainting with the values of color. I turned my parchment paper upside down, put the drawing towards the canvas and rubbed it with the end of a ruler to get it to transfer off onto my canvas. On this painting I'm using black wash of acrylic. I've just added some water to it and I'm using the gray's eye method of painting. Uh, this is where you start with an underpainting of monochromatic colors. Uh, normally I start with raw umber or burnt sienna but since my deer is going to be in brown tones and those are brown tones I thought it would be better to start with a black wash this time. Gray's eye is a French word meaning grays. Once the underpainting is done in the gray tones, I'll be adding acrylic glazes on top of this to give it color. And this gives a deeper, richer, uh, more three-dimensional look to your paintings. It also helps you work out composition problems before you get into trouble. Silk's acrylic glazes are just what they say they are. They're glazes, meaning that they're translucent. You can see through them. They're not meant to give great coverage. Although they have many uses, the main use is to build them up in layers. I'll begin my colors on the ground where I imagine that there would be some snow in the winter, and I'm starting with the color Autumn Skies. This warm color sunburst will add some warm light into this winter picture and if I put it right near the deer's head it helps to draw your eye to the center of interest. I'm going to use a lot of this iridescent blue. It's such a frosty blue color and uh, even though blue and yellow make green you're not going to see a lot of green in here because the neat thing about glazes is you can almost look through them to see the other colors beneath. So as I mix this on top of the yellow, you're not going to see a whole lot of green appearing. I also notice that the iridescent blue gives more of a frosty appearance to this painting than it does color. I'll be using several coats of this honey amber color on my deer. If that is dry, I'm switching to Autumn Leaf. I mentioned earlier that this is a video hop, but I didn't tell you the best part. We will be giving away, um, randomly choosing a winner from each channel that's participating, and if you comment on our video, that's automatically an entry. So get those comments in, and uh, the prize is the new Primary Elements six-piece shaker set with also some solution me medium. So it's quite a neat gift. So get those comments in on every single channel that you watch. We're going to randomly choose a winner from every single channel. So be sure to watch all of the videos and comment on each one. And if you've never participated in one of our video hops before, uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is go down to the uh, video description box below this uh, video. There's a little description box that tells about the video and click on show more. And you're going to see all the videos in the hop, but all you have to do is click on that very first video link and it'll take you to the next video. And then when you get to the next video and watch it and make a comment, you're going to do the very same exact thing. You're going to click on the very first video link that you see. So this will take you all through the hop. When you get back where you started, you'll know that you've been all the way through and seen everything. And be sure and comment again on each one. I'm reminding you because this is a really neat prize. 
Here I'm switching to Ginger Peach and uh, I'll add a few more colors but I'm pretty much going to be using the, the same group of colors that I've already used back and forth uh, in the, the composition. Uh, I may add one or two more but I will also more than likely use some white wash of acrylic, just a uh, basic white flat paint to push this back a little bit in the background so that uh, it recedes more, goes away more, the, uh, so the cool colors can come out more and also so that it'll look more like snow. And uh, then I may enhance the trees a little bit more with the black, some of the main trees that are up closer to you. So I hope you enjoy watching and I'll come back and talk to you about the hop video hop a little bit more at the end. Be sure to click down below this video, especially if you're on your computer. Sometimes it doesn't work to do that if you're on smartphones or telephones, I understand. Uh, smart TVs or telephones. But uh, if, you'll, if you go on your computer and click below, you'll be able to enter the contest and see all the contest information, all the video links, all the links to color art. And I want to thank you for being with us today. And I hope you enjoyed the hop and go see all the other artists. They are fabulous. This is our gift to you for the holiday season. Happy holidays.